Hello there, everyone. This is Neko Knight here, getting ready to play Zen Infected. Woohoo! So, today, we're gonna be go fetching Mike. It is a bit late, and I think all I have left on this is just to hunt animals. Woohoo! But, I'll catch- uh, and my last video didn't record too well, so I'll catch you up on what I've done so far. One, I got a bunch of logs. Two, I got a bunch of planks. Three, I finally got- Ooh, dead bird. And no, well, yes, I, I finally got a dead bird, but no. I finally got the foundations and stuff for this all set up. I will tell you this, this is just temporary. I plan to move this up there somewhere. Now we'll catch, now that I've shown you all that, we have also got, I moved that over there because apparently if you have it on the red rock here, it gets you, where is it? Nope. Oil shell. Don't know why? Well, actually, I do know why the developer made it that way. But, for some reason, if I put it right here in this area where this ground is, boom, I get iron. I've been letting this run for quite some time so that I can get this. Yes, I know, you can put it on extract stone only, but, and that will get you iron faster, but what you guys are not taking into account is this. When you use the stone furnaces here, you will start generating the light meter. When you have to cook the stone, then cook the iron fragments to get the iron, you're double cooking the materials. That does not produce any noise, nor does it produce any uh, sound. That means you can effectively set that to run, and once you've gotten at least five of those, you can generate one iron every uh, minute, or you can generate five iron every minute. So you gamble on that, and you will, it, it's better. But anyways, once you start getting a bunch of those up. Now if you get the stone grinder, then having them on stone might be better, because then you can get two iron fragments, but then you gotta take into account noise and all that. So, as I've been climbing up the tree, I've placed little things here. Uh, I didn't really calculate exactly how to place these. Like, I might put another one here to this, but... Because this here comes uneven, but... With the hitbox, yeah, I had to figure out how to do this properly. These rings here are hanging on the branches, since I can't get them to actually be on the tree. Plus, it actually kind of makes sense, because right there, it's like, you've got some branches that are in the way, and all that, and then, like, the tree. So, why put something there when you can put it up here on the branches? And then, up here, I'm working towards this tree. As you can see, we're getting this all set up. I'm going to put a ring around this tree, and then we're going to work on getting a ring around this tree. And then, after that, we're going to build out some... Uh, since we have triangle foundations, I might make this all triangle from a certain point period around here to there. Don't know yet. There's a lot of building I still need to do. Also, if you've built one of these and you've reloaded the game, do not stand on this or be on this when you've reloaded. Because you will simply go splat like a cartoon. I'm also working towards this tree, and then eventually, once I get around this tree, I'll work off towards those three trees. And then we'll have most of the base set up. I went ahead and started moving some of my items up here, and all that fun stuff. So that's caught you up. We're gonna go be fetching Mike. We're gonna need some lead, so let's hope he there's some lead over there. Oh, and... Oops, I forgot... We're going to do one other thing, and that requires eight planks, because as of right now, we can actually... Let's uh, throw my feathers in here. I don't know how long this will last before the developer changes it, but you can bring boxes on your uh, vehicle again. At one point, the developer made it where you couldn't. I don't know what why they changed it, but hey, I'll take advantage of it while I can. So we're going to get... Because we are going to be looting up the place some. And all that. One, two, three. Oh yeah, fun thing is, is if you hit here, you can, uh... Ah, there we go. 
uh, it seems to be a little laggy for some reason, but you can uh, grab planks like this and that will tell, you can then tell exactly how many you have and you can be like, okay, so that's what I need. And then done. All right, now that we've got that, we've got that, we can pick this up. Nope, we gotta get on this. And, oh, so we have to actually set this up in the air. So we may have to build a little uh, stool because for some reason you can't look down, but you, uh, and all that, but still, all right. I scouted out Mike in the uh, previous episode because I was like, oh, I found him. Let's go. We're going to get go get him. But we're going to have to go. I did not loot anything. I just went into the building where he normally is and then was like, okay. So the one thing I hate about this is that there's a lot of crud in the way. So this is like play a game of dodge the rocks and dodge the trees. Uh, we're gonna need to start turning towards this direction. Because following the road is gonna actually be longer than cutting through stuff. The one advantage the ATV has over the truck, the ability to cut through places. Although, it's kind of pointless considering the amount of rocks and the other crud in the way, though. Because then you're like playing, dodge the rock and dodge the tree. Ten points if a rock kills you. <laughs> Anyways, it's nice that we can do this. I don't know how long we'll be able, how long this will last. But, I will say I'm, I'm going to have to get some lead because I'm going to need it for the chemistry bench. I've got everything but one piece of lead. Whee. And I'm loving my build as it turns out. Oops. Alright, we have to go around this. Uh, my build, as you can see, it's absolutely amazing. I'm loving it. Oh. And uh, as things continue to grow we're gonna have to continue to get more stuff oh no I didn't think about this at all did I I did not think about this because I forgot about Mike he's going to be in the way also yes we're gonna Personally, I think a chainsaw would be really nice because then uh, you can have it as an unlimited durability thing and it just uses gas. You can throw in some gas, give more things to use gas on. Ooh, oil. And uh, with that, you'll be able to actually... Ooh. Uh, yes. My brain just went on me. Oh. Why is this box not searchable? I want that box to be searchable. Anyways. Oh, look at that tech. Yay! But, still, as we progress more, we're going to need power. We're going to need to start getting into some other things. Mike should not be in this area. This used to be where you would find him. In other words, you'd come back in here. There would be, like, a bed up in here. And then... You, would, you could be like, oh, hey, Mike. But now he's in an actual different building. Oh, hello. Block, stab, stab, block, stab. If you time your blocks right, you're basically immortal. And... Okay, we have at least that, but I forgot the flipping other... Uh, ooh. We're going to need glass for the chemistry bench. Kevlar will be a nice thing to sell. I think I should store a few things in here besides this. This, okay, good. I made sure to bring these with me. Ooh, 
Looting is a real good way to get stuff. Personally, I highly recommend looting. Uh, we'll take that and that. I don't really need clay right now. I will eat this because I need that. See, the, as you can see here, there's a block here and a block here, and here's Mike. Hi, Mike. How the hell are you still alive, technically? You've, you've been in this bed. You're not moving. You're, like, just sitting there breathing. I'll come back to you later. Personally, I'm kind of thankful. Uh, wait, what? Really? Is that that is that it that's just here am i missing something i feel like i'm missing something here i am there's a building back up in there oh there's a couple buildings back up in there okay sadly we cannot use these ladders which kind of sucks but hey all right oh oh I do not like that. They need to fix that. Okay, enough with this. Stop throwing your crotches into me. They should not be allowed to flip and uh, throw through the walls like that. That's cheating beyond belief. If I took my time, I could have actually fought them properly, but yeah, no. We're not here to fight to the death. We're here to grab Mike and run. Ooh, bricks. Realistically, you can leave stuff in here. I'll show it to you, show you that you can, and that uh, it will respawn after like every 10 days in other words like day what do you call it uh hold on a second here by day 11 theoretically these uh, should all respawn i don't know if it's actual mass day respawning but still with this place where mike is make sure to come back up in here you you never know it's possible the truck could be hidden in here somewhere some people have had a hard time trying to find the truck and it's because they um, looked there and then drove on by here without actually checking back up in here. Uh, tallow. We'll eat that. In real life, I don't really care for that stuff. We'll take this and this. I already have my 50 clay, which is fine. Uh, we've got a decent amount of that. If you're ever in need of food, always search a town. A town will basically give you all the food you could ever dream of. Uh, I don't need two of those. We'll take that. Ropes, useless. Plastic. Uh, yep. I will take biofuel. Uh, coal. That was all good. I probably should have just grabbed that that eventually i won't need as many of those things as i have Ooh, mini ki mini kits all right now that this place is cleaned out we'll get the other then we'll grab mike we'll head home uh nah i don't need that much Ooh, fine i'll take white uh Tetris dun, 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 dun. I... Okay. I'm a little worried there. Ooh, glass. Uh corn, I don't think that should ever be a food unless you process it. But that's my personal opinion. And we're starting to get a lot of cloths. You know what? We'll take it. Once it once it no longer sta stacks, we'll stop. We're going to have to get some water. There we go. Everything's going up. Feathers. Aluminum can. I've got a few of them at home. That's perfectly fine. Ooh. We need to dump. All 
right, now my stupidity is can I carry him in? Ooh. Ow. Why am I overheating? I. Uh, you know, I hate that. I hate that so much. Overheating. I lived in Arizona. I used to deal with uh, over 125 degrees, and I would not be overheating. I, I, I know the biggest issue right now of why I'm overheating. Oops. I have to take off my helmet if I want to actually stop overheating. Which means I gotta empty out a lot of space. There, you stupid flip nuggets. Stop it. I wish if when you hit F that this showed your body temperature. I don't want to have to go in here, then in here, and then over here, and then be like, ta-da. That's stupid. Uh, I hate that so much. The, the, the... Uh, the the temperature system needs a huge rebalance. I will say that. All right, Mike. You're gonna be in the rain for a little bit because I got I gotta get your place. Fun thing is, is if you drop them, pick them up, and jump while you do this, you can actually move very quickly with him. Like this, as you can see here. Oh, sweet. I got him the uh, box. I know I'm missing a little bit of loot, but hey. Oh, do I not have enough? I may not have enough lead. And I don't. Ha I'm going to have to make a stop at the place. So I'm going to have to get him into bed. I'm going to have to build the chemistry. And I'm going to have to build a couple other things in the process, too, and... Alright, this was a place I was going to build at um, on one of my playthroughs. Because this is like a fortress-like zone. In other words, you can place down, like, clam land claim poles around here. A bunch of them, and make it where the enemies either spawn up up here. And then you can build all in here, block off right here. The enemies only have this way to come in. This is also one of the reasons why I wished that land claim pools were upgradable. Like, ooh, hello here. We'll not want to go through that. Uh, we're going to go this way. The problem with driving without, without the map and stuff, or driving with the map, is you could potentially go hurt yourself. Well, not hurt yourself, but run into all kinds of stupid things like... Uh, trees, rocks, this, that. It's gonna be quite fun. Alright, well, thankfully we got Mike. We're gonna have to make a run to the caves to grab some mushrooms. But if we're gonna do that, I'm gonna um, make a stop on the way to the crocodiles. In other words, I'm gonna get my backpack on in, in the next episode, basically. At least that's the goal. And once we get my backpack, we can then move over to the cave. It shouldn't be too long. I uh, Basically, the next episode will be showing you how to set up a liver farm. Ooh. It's very simple. It, and personally, I, I'm glad it works that way. Ooh, we're going way off. We need to turn. And I hope it doesn't change that, because it makes a lot of sense. The gators only have the ability to bite. Uh, they shouldn't have the ability to... Well, and they have the ability to tail whip, too, but... You, you get what I mean. Once, once we get where we need to, I'll be showing you exactly what I mean. But that's going to be next episode. Oh! Hey, there's the gang of idiots. That is near my land claim pole. 
so we may have to be fighting a boss. I don't know 100%. They're camping out because they're waiting for the noise pollution. Alright, Mike. You're gonna have to sleep on the floor. We're gonna get you your place set up. We've got the clay. We've got all that fun stuff. Uh, you. Once we get your bed set up, you'll be good to go. Throw this all into here. I do wish there was a press E button or a press and hold button so you could just press and hold it. But hey. Eh. We've got the nails, we've got the planks, we've got the logs. You know what? We'll throw it into here so we don't have to run back as many times. Once we get this all set up, I'll have to work towards getting the whatever built. And the next thing I'll have to get built will be the whatever you, you call it. Uh, the town thing. And the reason why is so he can start taking care of those. Once he starts taking care of those, which speaking of, I should harvest, throw, yeah, we're going to need nails for that, which means we're going to have to uh, dig in to move my one thing, oops, alright, planks are good, or not planks, but that stuff's good. Uh, let's throw everything in here, or, yeah, let's just throw it in here. Maximize the carrying capacity until we can no longer carry. So, yeah, de next episode's definitely going to be uh, getting my backpack. Yeah, yeah, sorry you were in a nice covered roof area. You weren't being rained on, but, I mean, hey... We're building your home right here, right now. A little bit of drowning isn't going to hurt you. <laughs> actually, I do kind of feel a little bad. I, did, I was not expecting it to actually start raining like this. That's kind of why I didn't build this first. Because I was like, oh, it's not going to be raining. Uh, we need eight more planks. And as I said, we're going to be moving stuff around. We're going to be moving this up top somewhere. Alright, we probably have some more planks than we need, so let's just... Yep, okay. Nails. What about nails? We have... Hmm? So we don't got nails. Uh, we do have this. And... Nope. Alright, what about you? We have a nail. Just what everybody wanted. A nail. Alright, let's go over here. We'll start up our forges. We'll get some nails. We're gonna need a few of them anyways, so... We'll grab as much of this as we can. Put that back in there. Try not to use too many of these in the beginning if you can. Perfect. We've got enough. Poor guy. Oh. Will these actually work? I don't know. Hopefully they'll work because they've got that uh, stupid thing right above them. Oops. You seem to be working. Alright. We're gonna get the mics home. We're gonna get some biofuel. We're gonna throw in at least three of them into this. 
because we got to keep this going. Perfect. I am going to be getting more of these set up. Once I get like 10 of them going, that's the other thing is once you start getting a bunch of these going, you're going to want to start uh, getting the power thingy and all that. And we're also going to need to make a butcher's table. Because we're going to need that for the crocodile. Alright. Dirty water. Clean water. You know what? Might as well. For now. I'm fine with it being coming dirty. Alright. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Once we get this, we can make some nails, which, oops. I put that all the way up top. Uh, I probably should, I'm gonna grab that. We're gonna also have to put some railings on this here. So, four, uh, place, constructions, railings, one of those, and then these. This way we won't fall off other than when we're running down these stairs because apparently running down these, these handles are not high enough. Oh hey, look Mike, you're no longer having to worry about drowning. Perfect. Uh, I definitely need to change this and round this all out just for looks. That's mostly what that's for. All right, clean water, yes, and then, yes, sometimes I wish we had, uh, one thing I kind of wish, this is more of me being greedy, is that both of these bags were open, or they had like a half and half bag. Or, I, I don't know. I, I just kind of wish it would, I didn't have to, like, switch between the two. Like, maybe have a on-off fire thing here. So you can, if you've got water on hand, you can, like, uh, or, or a lighter. So let's say you want to turn it on, you can click, turn it on. It will light up if you've got fuel. If you got water, you hit turn off. It turns off. These are just small little quality of life suggestions. They're not really important at all. But still. It would be kind of neat. Ooh, gotta be careful. Don't want to hurt myself. Alright. We need... I don't remember how many, but... We're gonna need a lot of crud anyways. Oops. I forgot. You just need to put one. Max craft it. And there you go. I'm used to some of the older ways, which weren't like that. Once we... I'm gonna have... I'm, I'll build the uh, chemistry station off camera, pretty much. I'll go gather the mushrooms and all that. Whee! Yes, antibiotics, I know. For some reason, he becomes active here, for some reason. But, once you do this, you can change his stuff to take care of plant beds, uh, replenish log stand, and take care of stone crates, because I don't have to worry about that. This will be the best, because he'll give me food and all that. After that, he'll replenish those, and all that other fun stuff. But I am loving the way this is turning out, and I can't wait to expand it out more. I gotta think about how far I want to expand this out, and some other building things I thought. Are those stars, or are they just clouds? Hmm. I think they might be stars. I, I don't know what's with all this white fluffy stuff in the sky here. But anyways, I got distracted. Oops. 
All right, so we've got him in bed. We've got that. We need the chemistry bench, which placeables. We've got that right here. We actually have, I believe, everything for it. In other words, we've got the nails. We've got the glass and we've got the planks. And there we go. There's the glass. And then actually we're, we're gonna need to fill up these because I, I need more pumpkins and him to take care of them. Uh, da -da -da. I, we have, I'm pretty sure I have a lead. Do I have a lead? I know I have two, but um, mother flip nuggets. We don't have a lead. We, we or we have two of them right here and here. Oh, I need a lead. Uh, okay. So next, I will be, um, since I'm going to be s setting up a place for my liver farm here, I am going to be running up here off camera. In other words, I'm going to get this set up and then off camera, I'll be going over here. I'll grab a lead and a, some mushrooms. And then after that, we'll come back to here, to here. We'll cure Mike and we'll set him free although we are gonna need to get the npc building because we need to be able to oh no he can't deal the deal with the plants unless there are pumpkins because he needs an npc building to put npc storage into it so yeah either way for now we'll just get deal with that because that's the only way we'll get, we'll come to that. We'll get everything set up for the NPC town hall too. But if you guys enjoyed, please like. If you didn't, I understand. That was just me doing a lot of talking and a lot of running around and gathering a bunch of crud in the process. And all that are fun things. But we do have Mike. We do have a saw bench. We just need the chemistry, which means I just need one lead and all that. I will be getting all that cred set up but anyways. If you want to see more of this series, check out my in-screen credits as I will be doing more. And if you want to see other games I play, check out my channel. I do play other games in the process. And if you want to be added on to the in-screen credits like these people, make sure to publicly subscribe. After a certain period of time, I'll add you on. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy it and come back for more. I'm going to get ready for the next episode, which is getting my bag and then curing Mike. So, bye-bye.